Hey, hey, God bless everyone. Sammy D with you, sitting in the comfort, you know where, of my mobile. You know what I'm doing, drinking me a cup of Bustelo. And I've got me a message from God's heart to my heart to your heart. I believe God's going to speak to you. Things that are going on in the world that we're all subject to. And I want to give you some key words and some scriptures that are going to fortify, that are going to strengthen, that are going to put you in a position of finding refuge in the Lord so that you, yeah, you can be that overcomer that God created you to be. Amen. Let me pray. Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, I pray that you open somebody's heart for this word to penetrate, to enter into their heart, to those areas in their heart that nobody knows about. But you go beyond the curtain and touch and heal and deliver by the power of your word. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen and amen. Now, keep in mind that I am a machine gun preacher. You say, Sammy D, what's a machine gun preacher? Sound like a gangster. I'm not a gangster. Used to be a gangster, an outlaw, a rebel. But now I am what we call a warrior, a soldier for the Lord. So if anything, I'm a gangster for Jesus. And I come down here with my machine gun, which is the word of God. -da 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 shooting down enemies. Any devil, demon, any warlock, any witchcraft, espiritismo, brujeria, anything of darkness, high places, uh, spiritual thing. Ra -da 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 -da. I'm shooting them down with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, that the preaching pa -pa 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 of the gospel is foolishness to those that perish, but it is the -da 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 power of God to those that believe. Can you say amen? somebody. <laughs> Woo! Hey! Now, I want to preach to you for a minute about the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear. I entitled my message Faith versus bah, Fear. Now keep in mind that Paul told Timothy, God's now giving you the spirit of fear. So there is a such thing as a spirit of fear. And that spirit of fear is loose throughout the world. Everywhere you go, you turn on the news, the first five to seven broadcasts you hear is about somebody dying, somebody got killed, somebody committed suicide, cops shot somebody, somebody shot a cop, COVID-19, and all that there creates fear. In our mind, my <laughs> what's, what's going on? <laughs> I, I, I'm afraid to go outside. Kids, get in the house. We're not going out. Stack up, get some food. We're staying home. Fear grips your heart. And when fear grips your heart, faith is paralyzed. Paralyzed. So I want to encourage you. That faith overcomes fear. Bam! That's a good one. Faith in God overcomes fear. I want to give you some scripture. I want the first one I want to give you is is really found in the book of Habakkuk. You say Sammy who? Habakkuk? What do you eat that with? Sauerkraut and Frankfurters? No. Habakkuk is a minor prophet. Habakkuk was the prophet that said, even though the sky may fall. There's no food in the house. Things are going bad. I will give God praise. You'll read that in the book of Habakkuk. You'll find it in the Old Testament in the Minor Prophets. And he's the one that started this. And we quoted from other scriptures. But he's the one that started when he said, The just shall live by faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Paul picked up on it. And he said it in Romans chapter 117. The just shall live by faith. You see, when you live by faith. Oh, come on, Sam. You're going to hit a home run here. When you live by faith, fear has no business in your environment or your surroundings. 
definitely not in your mind, not in your heart, because you're operating, hallelujah, praise God, in the spirit and in the faith of God. Now, the Bible says the original translation, I did some research, it doesn't just say have faith in God. Watch this, I'm going to teach you something. We quote it, we read it, we see it, we hear it. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. The original translation says have the faith of God. That's the difference. Have the faith of God. You say, Sammy D, what does that mean? Well, God created everything by faith. That's what the Bible says in the book of Hebrew. By speaking the word. The word is the expression of an invisible thought. You speak a word because you have an invisible thought in your head and it comes out in your words. So God said, let there be light by faith and the light appear. Now the light wasn't out there somewhere because then he didn't have to say, let there be light. The light was in him because he is the light of the world. Oh, Holy Spirit, help me out now. So he said, let there be light. And the light showed up And he put the moon in his place The sun in his place He spoke everything into existence And then he formed man from the dust Of the earth and he breathed The Holy Spirit bam, The spirit of God and man Were created in his image And then he put him to sleep And in my opinion He created out of the man When he took the rib The most beautiful of his creation The masterpiece He created a Whoa, whoa, man And so God is a God of faith. And the Bible says, have the faith of God. If you're going to operate, you're going to work with God, you're going to walk with God, you're going to do God's way, God's will, and God's word, then you need to know that God operates in faith, and we need to have the faith of God. If God says there is healing, you need to say the same thing. There's healing. If you, God says there's deliverance, say it. Line up with God and say there's deliverance. Speak the word of God because you have the faith of of God. Mm -mm 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 and whatever God says is going to happen, that's exactly what's going to happen. So the just shall live by faith. So faith casts out fear. Faith versus fear. And if you walk in faith, pow, 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 you don't have any fear. And fear has no business in your life. Am I talking to somebody up in here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me take a quick drink of coffee so you can, you, can, you can digest all that that I just told you. Ba ba ba! Ba 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 ba! Woo! Hey, hey, hey! Ah! I gotta have my gasoline in the morning, a cafe bustello. So live and walk. By faith. Now you say, Sammy D, how do I get faith? Uh, give, give me, give me, give me that uh, the the electronic address. Uh, I want to, I want to type it in my computer and and receive some faith. No, you 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 don't get it like that. You don't get it like that. You get it by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing, and hearing, and hearing the word of God. You know what I do as an exercise. I read the word out loud when I'm home. I read it out loud. I just read it because I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to. I repeat it. Faith comes by hearing the word over and over, and so I read it out loud, and it just enters into my spirit, man. So you get filled with faith by studying the word, hearing the word, telling yourself the word, memorizing. And that creates faith inside of you. And that faith will cast out that fear. One, walk and filled with faith. Be a man or woman filled with faith. Hallelujah. It said Stephen was a man. Stephen, one of the apostles, when they, when they stoned him, I think it was Paul before he became an apostle, they, they stoned him. They said he was a man filled with faith. Isn't that wonderful? Would you like to be a person filled with faith? When you see somebody dying, when you see somebody sick, and faith tells you pray for them, they're going to come alive. Pray for them, they're going to receive healing. Pray for them, they're going to receive deliverance. See, because the things of God are contrary to the things of this world. The natural things of this world. Ay, bendito, mira, lo se está muriendo. No hay esperanza. Oh, my God, there's no hope. Look at him. That's the natural. But faith in God and the faith of God will tell you 
you pray, God can do the miracle. God will do the miracle. God is a supernatural God. God is here and he's ready to move on your word of faith. Praise God. So live in faith. Another one I want to give you is not only live in faith, but walk in love. Walk in love. Because perfect love catches out fear. Perfect love catches out fear. So walk in love. First John 4, 18. First John, John the Revelator, create, he wrote the book of John, Revelations, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. First John 4, 18, it says that faith catches out fear. Perfect love, rather, excuse me. Perfect love catches out fear. If you walk in the love of God, if you love God and you walk in his love, that will cast out fear automatically. There is no room for both to be in the same place. There's no room for both to be in the same environment, in the same atmosphere. You can't have them both in your mind. You walking in love and perfect love will cast out, will drive out like you're calling an Uber. You know, you get on the phone and say, uh, yeah, Uber, uh, yeah, send it down to 225, uh, 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 333, 33rd Street. And so the Uber comes and you tell fear, get in that Uber, Take off because perfect love will cast out, will cast out, will cast out raka taka 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 fear. It'll take it out of the way. So walk in the spirit of love. It casts out fear. Now you know what faith is. It says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hebrews chapter one. Faith. Now, it says, now faith is, not tomorrow, not yesterday. Yesterday is a canceled check. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is cash, baby, in your hand. You got money in your hand. Today, it says, now faith is, now, not yesterday, not tomorrow. God made it so that we can have faith every day. I'm going to pick it up. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave it there. Faith, hallelujah, is for now. It is the substance. Another word for substance, the confidence. You have the confidence, man. You have the assurance. This thing is coming to pass. I know it. You can't make me doubt them because I know too much about them. Faith, hallelujah, is the things that you hope for. It's not a dead hope. It's a living hope. I'm sitting here. I'm not saying I hope they give me a good Christmas present or a good birthday present. Or I hope she likes me because I like her. That's dead hope. I'm talking about a living hope that you know it's going to happen. Because God said in his word, you believe his word. You read his word. You study his word. And you apply his word to your life. And you know that there is a confidence. There is a substance of the things that you're hoping for. People may tell you it's not going to happen. You're crazy. That's insane, but it's going to happen because you have a living hope that you're holding on to. Come on, shout praise the Lord with me, somebody. <laughs> so it's the substance. And then it's the evidence. The evidence, another word for evidence, the assurance. The assurance. Now, let me go back to my money. I have a few dollars in my a $20 bill. I know that I have it. Now, you may not uh, see it if I hide it, you know. I don't know if he has it or not. He's something behind that curtain. Like, you know, let's make a deal. What's behind curtain number three? So there's no real assurance because I can't see it. But if I show it to you, you say, yeah, I see it. So that's the evidence. That's the assurance. And faith is the assurance. Is the evidence. God said it. He'll do it. He's done it before many times. He'll do it again. He's not a man that he should lie. So I have the assurance. I have the confidence that if God said it, he'll do it. And if he spoke it, he's going to bring Bring it to pass so I can sit back and say something like a yabba dabba doo scootooby dooby because I know that it's going to happen. <laughs> it's the assurance <laughs> of things not seen. You don't see it, but you know it's coming. You know it's going to come. You know it's going to show up because God said he's going to show up. So the third one is walk by faith, live in love, walk by love, and then of course walk and listen to me carefully. Walk in prayer, walk in praise, and walk in worship. 
Did you get that one? Walk in prayer. You've got to be a person filled with the spirit of prayer. I prayed last night. I said, God, put that spirit in me. I want to pray. I want to be able to pray more and more and more and worship more. It was David, King David in the Old Testament. They were attacking him. They were going to destroy him. You got to listen to this here. They were attacking him, ready to destroy him. And you know what he said? He said, they came at me to destroy me, but I am a man of prayer. Can you say that? That's a powerful statement. I am a man of prayer. In other words, he said, I've got this fortified city. I'm standing behind the refuge of God. I'm abiding in here through prayer. I am a man of prayer. So they can attack me. They can jump me. They can bamboozle. They can lampoon. They can assassinate my character. But I am a man of prayer. I pray. I speak to God. I have an audience with God, a relationship with God. And he said, I am a man of prayer. So I want you to walk as a man and woman of prayer and get in there and talk to God and praise and worship God and exhort the Lord and magnify the name of the Lord and get filled with the spirit of prayer. I, 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 let me say it again. I, 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 I would love to play an instrument. I would like to teach the angels how to sing. I would love to preach a good message. But most of all, I want to be known as a man of prayer. Jesus told the disciples, stay here while I go pray. When he came back, they were sleeping. Many of us are sleeping. We're not praying because we've gotten too lazy, too complacent. Ta -ta 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 -ta. We've gotten too and neglecting the things of God. So I want to be known more than anything. Reverend so-and-so, bishop so-and-so, evangelist so-and-so, you can take that and hot wash. I want to be known as a man of prayer, a man that speaks to God, that has an audience. When somebody tells me, could you pray for my son? Could you pray for my daughter? Can you pray for my marriage? Can you pray for this thing? I want to say, let's do it. Bang! And I want to pray and see the results because I am a man of prayer. That's what King David said in Psalm 109. You need to read it. 109, chapter Chapter 109, verse 4. He said, they came at me. They wanted to destroy me, but I ra -da 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 came back at them through prayer because I am a man of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Huh? Hey, I'm going to finish right now. Finish. That doesn't mean, eh? Yeah. Se acabó el mambo. That doesn't mean, eh? Take those words with you. Walk and be filled with faith. By reading, 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 studying, memorizing, meditating on the word of God. We need it in these days. And then walk in love. Walk in love. Perfect love casts out fear. Be a person of confidence, substance. A person of assurance, evidence of faith. And then be a person of prayer, praise, and worship. Be a man of prayer. I'm going to let you go. God bless you.